be guys to play when must fall 2097 so this is one of my favorite fighting games for uh for pcs back in the day this was for dos released in 1994 by epic mega games and yeah epic has like such a great uh library of old dos games and unfortunately they don't really acknowledge that uh, they never re-release any of their older games but uh when must fall 2097 is one of them it is actually the sequel to One Must Fall, uh, a game that was basically a very basic Street Fighter clone. Um, and that game I did play a little bit of, but it was nothing special. It was basically just a Street Fighter ripoff, a uh, poor version of Street Fighter, I should say. Um, but One Must Fall 2097, though, this game, I mean, wow. This was a, I mean, it's a sequel, but it's actually its own game because it's, um, it has to do with robots and fighting robots. Uh, and it's just, yeah, it's just its own thing, because it's not really a Street Fighter clone. Uh, every one of these pilots pilots their own robot. Each of these robots has their own techniques and stuff like that. It was probably the best fighting game that you could have on PCs back in the day. Because, uh, yeah, most of the fighting games, as we know, they were in arcades and consoles. Uh, PC didn't really get that many great fighting games, but One Must Fall 2097 really kind of stands out. Uh, so we have Crystal, Stefan, uh, Milano, Christian, Shiro, Raven, Coset, Angel, a Abraham, and John Paul. You actually have a special fighter as well. You have a secret fighter here um, that you can unlock later on. But yeah, these are the um, the ten different pilots. Uh, each of them come with their own mech robot that they can uh, fight with. It has own special abilities and everything. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with uh, let's go with Raven here. Um, and yeah. Like, so you have your pilot here, each of them has their own stats actually, so you can see their stats. So each pilot has their own stats, and each of them can pilot their own robot. Let's go Raven, and uh, you have Jaguar here, which is kind of a very basic, uh, good beginner robot. You have Shadow, Thorn, Pyrus, Electra, Kronos, Gargoyle, Flail, Shredder, and Katana, and you have one more uh, hidden boss robot here as well, but I forget how to unlock it. Uh, so yeah, you have your... 10 different robots, 10 different uh, pilots, all with their old, um, I guess, stats, special abilities and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really good game. Uh, I remember playing this a lot back in the day. And the soundtrack is legendary. I mean, just listen to the music. The, the music is great. Uh, whoever composed this this theme song is, you know, a legend. This is one of the best DOS game soundtracks. Um, to a great game. So I'm choose Electra here. Facing off against, uh, I guess, Katana. Round one. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, this is like much faster, actually. Remember my controls here. Uh, we got to do the special abilities. It's been a while since I played this, but yeah, each of the robots has their own controls. Ooh. Take this. There, got it. Oh yeah, the background has their own obstacle as well. The background has these spikes. So there was a sequel to this game, One Was Fall Battlegrounds, which I also did a video on, but that game was not the same. Um, 2097 is definitely the best out of the three One Must Fall games, for sure. And you have this little news clip thing. Even here's a hit that in the map. Okay. So Corset here. And with also with Electra, so it's a mirror match. But in the electricity fields. Yeah, since this was like not not a lot of fighting games back then for PC, and this was one of the few fighting games, and it was actually probably the best one. So I ended up playing this a lot back in the in the day. Yeah, the PCs never really got a good, you know, uh, an appropriate Street Fighter port, I would say, until much later. So yeah, back in the DOS days, this is all we had, and eh? it's just actually pretty good, pretty solid, great soundtrack. And the robots and everything, they all have uh, their own special techniques and abilities, and they all make it kind of unique as well, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I used to love playing these back in the day. Crystal uh, with Shredder. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Lava pit here. 
Yeah, these environmental obstacles like those lava bubbles. <laughs> It's been a long time since I played this game, but it seemed to be doing not bad. Just running through the arcade mode, though. Ooh. But the, uh, I think the last boss is Nova, actually. Nova is, uh, one of those hidden, it's a hidden boss. Or not a hidden boss, but, um, he's using a mobile suit. I mean, <laughs> a mech that you normally can't get. So Nova is actually pretty interesting. Nice. Angel with uh, Thorn, okay. Christian. Yeah, the Nova Project. So the Nova is uh, basically, yeah, that, that crazy boss robot that we'll see later on if you if I make it there. It's Jaguar. Island Jaguar. It's, this is like a training room background. Come on. Wow. There, just need one more shot. Oh, just stop blocking. Stop blocking. Jaguar has those shadow attacks. Annoying. Oh man, he killed me. Okay. First time I lost. Yes, I can't go undefeated. Fine. Oh. Whoa. Okay, Abraham with uh, Kronos. Or has some like time abilities, I think. Parts litter the floor after repeated blows. Almost makes you feel sorry for the repair crew. You are a pupper trying to break the string, okay. Shadow. Oh.
Stefan with the gargoyle. Oh, the flying one, right? Oh, this is really fast. Nice, got hit by the lava bubble too. Okay, Milano with the Pyrus. It's a flame robot, of course. You can tell from the name. Oh yeah, here's guy. It's your Major Krasak. Yeah, Major Krasak. You see his uh, his mech here. His mech is a is a mech you normally cannot uh, choose. Choose higher difficulty. Do oh okay. What the heck? Choose a higher CPU difficulty level. CPU veteran level required to challenge him. He says, "I'm not impressed with your pathetic fighting skills. Come back when you've learned to fight. You're not even allowed to challenge him until you get like a higher difficulty." What the heck? All right. Anyways, you guys can tell like he has a he has a custom robot, which is uh, kind of cheap. But yeah, anyways, um, that's one must fall 2097. Uh, probably one of the best fighting games, if not the best fighting game for PC uh, back in this time, 1994 when it came out. So yeah, amazing game uh, for the time. Uh, obviously, there's a lot better fighting games now for PC, but for the time, for the era, 1994, you know, what other games do you have? What other better fighting games do you have for DOS, right? This is probably the best one for DOS at the time. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. One must fall 2097. It's still pretty fun to go back to today. Um, but yeah, it's a fun game for its time. <laughs>